Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 5 of the book Bright Minds Chess Course Level 1. This time we're going to be talking about the bishop, how the bishop moves and how the bishop captures. Then we're going to go forward and do some exercises as we have been doing it um, previously. So let's go right away. So remember that um, the bishop moves in diagonal, okay? So the bishop moves in diagonal. So what I will do here, let me just choose um, the lesser point. And here we could see how the bishop moves. So this line indicates how the bishop moves. So the bishop moves in diagonals, okay? So this bishop will be moving in light squares or light diagonals. And this one, of course, will be moving in dark squares or dark diagonals, okay? This diagram on the right shows how the bishop captures. So the bishop could move from here in diagonal and capture the pawn. Now, let's see here more examples. So from here, we could see this bishop here could move in diagonal and capture the knight. And we have this bishop here that could move in diagonal and capture this rook. Or it could move back and capture this pawn over here. So this shows how the bishop moves and, well, how the bishop captures. This one here on the um, on your right, okay, or on your left, I will say, um, this, bishop, this X here shows where the bishop could go to. Notice that the bishop, of course, cannot go over here because that is one of your own pieces. So be very careful not to capture your own pieces when you are playing a chess game. Okay, now let's um, go and solve some exercises as we did with the rook pre previously. And uh, um, that will help us to have a little bit more experience um, with the bishop. So let's go right away. Okay, so we are right here with the bishops. And in this case, we could see two bishops, a light square bishop and, and a dark square bishop. So what I will do here, I will illustrate where the bishops could go. So this bishop could move in diagonal. Notice that I am showing in this case with green lines where this bishop could move to. Bishop moves in diagonals, okay, only in diagonals. This bishop will only move in dark square diagonals. And this one over here will only move in light square diagonals. Okay, so the bishops move in diagonals. Bishops are very, very easy to move. So let's go to the next um, example. And this case, in this case, we're going to um, see the bishops in action, actually capturing some pieces. Okay, so notice my bishop could move here and capture this pawn, or my bishop could move here and capture that pawn. For the white pieces, though, this white bishop could move here and capture this pawn, or this bishop could move here and capture this pawn. So let's go ahead and capture those pawns. So let me come here, capture this one. Now, if I want to capture the other pawn, I have to line up my bishop with that pawn. So I will go back to the same place where I was before, and now I am in line to capture that pawn. For the white pieces, um, uh, for the white square bishop or the light square bishop, I will do the same. My bishop is already lining up with these two pawns. So I will decide to capture this one first. Okay. Now, if I want to capture this one, then all I have to do is line up my bishop with that pawn so I could go ahead and capture that pawn afterwards. Okay. Now, moving the bishop is very easy. But it's time to complete the exercises on the book. And in that way, you will practice properly how the bishop moves, how the bishop captures. For that, we're going to be doing those exercises with Marie Eglis. So have your pencils ready and let's go and do that right now. Hello, I am Marie Eglis and it is practice time. Let's start practicing how to move the bishop, okay? So for this practice, we have to mark with the letter X all the squares that the bishop go to. Let's go to practice 44, and the bishop is here. 
So from here, the bishop could move one, two, three, four squares to this way and three squares this way. Okay, remember that bishop move diagonally and it have to be on a straight line. So it could go straight this way and straight this way. Let's see now, practice 47, the bishop could go Three squares this way, two squares this way, two squares this way, and one on this way. Okay, notice that it is different than the rook. The rook could go straight up, down, and sideways, but the rook, the bishop could move diagonally, so it has to be on a line that is not straight up. It has to be a straight line, but in diagonal, okay? Now let's go to the next page for the next practice and I will recommend for you to pause the video and try to do this for by yourself and then when you finish you will come back to the video to check your answers. Ready? Okay, let me give you the answers. Practice 49, the bishop is here, it could only move on this diagonal. Because like the rook, the bishop needs space for him to be able to move. So as the, the, the knight is here, the bishop cannot move on this direction. But he has some space so he can move this way, okay? Now let's go to the next practice, which will be about capture. It will be about Capture with the bishop. Show an arrow towards the piece that the bishop could capture. So here we have three bishops. Let's see if all those bishops could capture something. This is a white bishop, so it should capture black things. So it could capture here. It cannot capture the knight because the knight is on the side and bishops don't move sideways. And it cannot capture anything on this direction, but it could capture the knight that is right here. Good. Now let's check this one to see if it, this one could capture something. It's a white um, bishop, so it could capture black pieces, okay? So it could go and capture this queen and capture this rook. Good. Now let's check the black bishop, the black bishop to see if it could, it could capture something. So it can move in this direction, nothing there, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Okay, so that black bishop cannot capture anything. Now let's see if practice 53. We only have one bishop, which is this one here. And it could only capture the rook. Because remember, bishops cannot jump over, so that's why it cannot capture this queen because the knight is on the way. And bishops don't move up and down, so that bishop cannot capture here, okay? Let's go to the next one. Here you have four practice. I will ask you please to pause the video and try to do this four by yourself. And then when you finish, you will come back to the video and unpause it to check your answers. Ready? Okay. Practice 55, the bishop could capture, the bishop could capture this pawn, and that's it. It cannot capture anything else, okay? So let's go to the next page. Well, let me give you some seconds here, so you could 
check your answers. And now let's go to the next one. Here we have practice 56 and 59. And it's the same thing. You have to practice how to capture with the bishop. So here is the bishop. It could go straight this way and capture this rook. And that's it, because if you go this way, you will not be able to capture the knight because the rook is on the way, okay? Now, let's check practice 59. The bishop could go down this way and capture the knight. And that is it, okay? Now, let's go to the next one. Try to do this four by yourself. And when you finish, you could unpause the video and check your answers, okay? Okay, let's see what are the answers for these four. And practice 61, the last one for this video. This one can capture here. And that's it. It cannot capture anything else because all the other ways, well, this way is block and there's nothing else to capture. Okay, so that will be all for this video. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope to see you in the next one. I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe to like and to share, okay? Bye-bye.